Hello everybody and welcome to my 97th VB8010 tutorial. This tutorial is going to show you how to combine the previous tutorial of file system object with the opening of uh, workbooks in order to, um, to, to bring data through from lots of different spreadsheets in a folder. Uh, so I've got a folder here and it will be in the examples one. Uh, and it's got the my new workbook that we created and I've also created two copies uh, and each copy has uh, within it uh, a different um, different piece of text in here so I'm just going to extract this bit of text uh, this one says what's up world, one of them says hello world, one of them says goodbye world so I'm just going to draw it, bring it into uh, that workbook there um, so first of all I'm going to get rid of this path I just want the name in column one and then in column two I'm going to want the value so I'm going to copy and paste this uh, and I'm actually going to delete that because we need to uh, create our workbook object so dim wb as workbook uh, and then we're going to in here I'm going to set my workbook so set wb equals workbooks dot open and then I want to put in my file name, which is going to be object file dot path. And so it's going to cycle through them all and it's going to open them all up. Uh, so if I press play at the moment, then you'll see it's going to open up all of the spreadsheets in that folder, um, which it, at the moment is uh, all of my tutorial ones. Uh, which was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> Let me just pause it while I close all them. Down. Right, so let's make sure we have put in our uh, folder and let's press play again. And it's just going to open up the three this time. So I've got all three open. Um, and yeah, make sure you do the same thing I did and don't open up loads of them. Um, so let's just close those three down again now. So my new word but my new word dot copy my new word copy copy, copy. Uh, and then it see it's written them in here so what I want to do in this column is just put the values of it, it for in each of those things so I want to go um, I want to take this I want to make column two equal to wb dot oh Apparently, I've lost the ability to type sheets sheet one dot cells one comma one dot value, and so that's just going to take the value from each of those sheets in turn. Um, I'm then going to go wb dot saved equals true. Uh, and that's not going to save the workbook, it's just going to make it think it's saved. So when I try to close it down, it's not going to prompt me to try and save it in any way. Um, so that's quite a useful one. Uh, it's also quite a good one if you never want people to save your workbooks. If you go into this workbook and then workbook open uh, and then put in before close, uh, which is there. If you put saved equals true then it's never going to prompt them to save it when they close it, which can be quite useful sometimes if you never want people to save it other than yourself. Um, just make sure you remember that you do it, because sometimes you'll close it down and it won't prompt you to save, and you'll go, no, because all your hours of hard work will be done. Uh, but then I'm going to do wb.close, and that's just going to close it down. Uh, and I want this to run quite fast, so I'm going to do application dot screen updating equals false and then at the end I'm going to do application dot screen updating equals true and so let's press play and you'll see that when we go into our workbook it's taken out the values from each of our different spreadsheets uh, so that's quite a good way of getting information from lots of different spreadsheets um, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to do a similar thing, uh, except 
Instead of um, bringing them all through by opening them up, I'm going to bring them all through using the active data object. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.